Howdy y'all, Mike Cameron here. I just got back from Texas and I'm finally done dealing with Irma stuff. So um, it's been a while, but we have a few things to talk about. Let's get into it. Hola everybody, Mike Cameron here, Cameron Academy of Real Estate, Cameron Realty Group, Confessions of a Young Millionaire. Uh, young Millionaires, YouTubers out there, thank you for tuning in. I am back, yes, I'm back from Dallas, Texas, and man, I got a lot to tell you guys. Uh, a little bit disappointing, really. Um, I stayed in downtown in Dallas. My sister lives in downtown too, so I got to see her, which was amazing, had an amazing trip. Um, the goal, as you know from previous videos, was to go out there to uh, assist with evac ease. I already made a donation of uh, $1,000 to the American Red Cross. I felt confident that they're using the money to actually help the victims of Hurricane Harvey out in Houston. So I wanted to get my hands dirty. I wanted to help out. And I registered to volunteer at a particular shelter. It was about 0.5 miles from my hotel. I was staying at the Sheraton. And I went out there and they said, I'm sorry, we can't find you in the system. So I said, okay, well, let me register right now. They said, okay, well, it takes 24 to 48 hours because they have to run a background check on me. I said, okay, that's most of my trip before I have to come back home, but let's do it anyway. So I registered and then um, I came back and <laughs> I see all this military standing outside. And I'm saying, so what's going on? Is there a seminar here? And they said, oh, well, the governor basically, um, they put us on this detail. They're paying us to help with evac ease and um, help assist with the volunteers as well. So I was like, okay, didn't even think twice about it. Went to the front desk and said, hey, listen, registered, uh, good to go, let me assist. And they said, oh, I'm sorry, we're not taking any more volunteers. <laughs> we're all full. So I basically, you know, went out, I'm thinking, man, I went out there for nothing. You know, I wanted to help people and I wanted to assist and now I'm prevented from doing it. So I'm thinking, okay, what else can I do? Can I go to Sam's Club? Can I put together care packages? Can I drop it off? And then there was a, a contact phone number and address to make donations. And I reached out to them and I said, hey, listen, I'm looking to donate. And I was thinking about doing this idea. And they said, oh, don't bother. We're not taking any more donations. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, um, all right, hands tied, can't volunteer can't make any donations. I don't know why they would stop taking donations. That didn't make any sense um, because there was a lot, it seemed like a lot of evacuees that were out there. I saw them hanging outside and, you know, I, I felt bad because I wanted to get in there and it's basically, they were holding me back, refusing this opportunity to assist. So that was frustrating. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, I made the donation to the Red Cross at the least, but now I feel like the trip was a waste, but then simultaneously Hurricane Irma is hitting and I'm thinking, man, you know, maybe that's God, you know, maybe that's divine intervention. He pulled us out of Orlando and we had booked this trip to Dallas even before we knew Hurricane Irma was coming to Florida and we didn't even know if it was going to hit Florida. <clears throat> So that's, that's God working, you know? How amazing is that? How amazing is God, you know, to put this on our heart, to go help, and then simultaneously take us away from harm. Um, the way my wife is, you know, uh, you know, 
Like, I love her. I love her so much. But in those environments, she gets really nervous, especially for the safety of my son. I've been through hurricanes before. I've been through tornadoes. Um, but she hasn't really experienced them the way I have. So um, it was, I think we were better off actually being in Dallas. And we had a really amazing visit. The weather was perfect. The people were great. The environment was awesome. The food was amazing. Um, but I, I really regret not getting the opportunity to help out with Harvey victims. Maybe I can do it in some other way, but I got a lot of work here in Central Florida with all of this damage it caused on our properties. So um, it caused, there was some type of leak in the reception area of uh, my commercial building. Um, over at the, the academy, everything is good, thank God. Um, I just changed out the electricity over there. I uh, switched it out to LED, so I was worried, you know, what, what's going to happen? Is there going to be electrical problems after I spent all this money? But we're all good there. Um, the house, soffits, the gutter system went down. A few downed trees on the, another piece of commercial property, too. So uh, condos, all good. For the most part, I mean, I mean, we're blessed. We're really blessed to not have as much damage as we've seen our neighbors um, have to go through and the repairs are going through right now with their roof. I mean, it, it's sad, you know. Um, insurance, obviously, is gonna take care of most of it, but still, you, you know, you don't wanna go through that. Anyhow, to get back on track here, uh, it's a beautiful day out here in Orlando. I'm so pumped up, I'm so excited because, uh, you know, we're, we have a new class, a lot of students in the class, and we're excited to provide them with real estate education and for them to uh, take advantage of this amazing market that we're going through. Even though the hurricane just hit, uh, we're going to bounce back like we have in the past. If you're interested in getting your real estate license, come and see the number one real estate school in Central Florida, Cameron Academy of Real Estate, and we'll get you on track. If you want to visit us online for more information, thecameronacademy.com, or you can call us to speak with a live person at 407 Cameron.